and Steph are here today. How are you doing? Hello. Steph's been feeling a bit rough the past few days, which is why you haven't seen her around as much. But I asked her today if she wanted to be part of the community canvas, and she said yes. Oh! I need to charge my Apple Pencil as always. <laughs> well, you guys know what today is. Today is Community Canvas Day, so I'm going to whack this link in the chat for you. I'm going to pin it. Just like that. And there is no prompt today. Today's just sort of go with whatever you want to do. <laughs> what is the prompt? Girl power. Okay, you can have girl power if you want. <laughs> girl power. Mm -hmm. Hello everybody! Hello Sparkle and Dinosaur and Neon and Griff and Froyo and Arx and Sipidanius. Hello! Hello everybody! <laughs> right, let's see if I can... Uh, come up. <laughs> Maybe I'll go in the corner today. I'll go over here. I'm gonna put... There you go, that, that's me. <laughs> right, let's go find some music to put on. And get cozy and we'll have a doodle together. <gasps> Cleo, that sounds so cool! Alright, let's find something nice to put on. Is that what that is? <laughs> oh wow, are you gonna do some finger run? Froyo used to use their finger, you know. I love how close you've done that. <laughs> It's all right, hon. I didn't. I didn't want a lot of space anyway, you know. Mm -hmm. Are you doing that with your fingers, hon? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, no way! Is that patches? Mm -hmm. It's patches. Is it because he was? Is it patches was giving Steph such a big cuddle earlier? Look at him. Why have you given him a beard? <laughs> why it's such a thick beard? <laughs> what patches? What happened to you? It's like my name is Patches, and I have a big beard. How have you guys been, though? Did you guys have fun today? I was telling Steph um, about all the fun that we've been having. Doing the Pokemon streams together. Because she's, um, like I said, because she hasn't been feeling too good. She's been missing them, so I've been telling her, like, how she's a Mew, and you guys are in it as well. And We played Dress Up the other day. And we, <laughs> I didn't know you could only annotate the pictures with one word, so it said, Dick, my baby. <laughs> and everyone was like, oh, no. <laughs> And there was a guy in the woods looking for a far-fetched, and we accidentally punched it. <laughs> Last night's dream to upload, and you forgot to watch it. It's up, it should be up there now, Kaleo. It's it's like once it's up on um, YouTube, like it's it's there like whenever you're ready, really. I'm really glad we're uploading them there now, because once they're up there. I don't have to worry about them, like, uh... Them yeah, yeah, like, disappearing or whatever. I just need to make sure to... I need to make thumbnails for the ones from this week. Okay, well, that's no problem, dear. It's been very Pokemon themed, so... You see what Patch is saying? He's saying girl power okay. with, with his beard. <laughs> the girl power has given him a beard. <laughs> Voltron. Hello, puppy. I hope you enjoy it, Cleo. The one that we... Yesterday's adventure, we ended up getting pretty far. And we made some new Pokemon friends. And quite a few cursed things happened again. 
Liz makes her. Hello, first time joining and so happy to be here. <gasps> it's lovely to have you with us, Liz. That's so sweet of you. I think I'm painting right now. <laughs> oh, you've drawn a flower and patches. It looks like he's, he's got his hair like it's his first day of school. He says, yes, my name is Patches and this is my first day at school. And I'm just a baby. And he's losing girl power. Team little shits, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if anyone, because if you know, we've caught some quite a few people now, more more than what we can have like an active team with. Uh, in the stream yesterday, we managed to get to the point where we found the daycare grandpa and uh, grandma, and I was going to ask if any of you guys wanted to be put in the daycare. So that way you get to be, like, leveled up while we're wandering around. You don't think Professor Elm will be angry at us for, for doing what we did to that egg? I think he'll be cool with it, right? <laughs> you love that. I don't think he won't, he won't be he won't be upset, right? You'll get random moves. Oh really? Is that what it is? Oh I don't like that. Togepi's coming for me. We found two ever since we set we set ours free in the wild, didn't it? We found two so far. I don't like Togepi though. I don't like. Oh, I like Togepi. Well, Togepi's Togepi is okay, but I don't like what Togepi was. Hmm. I, I guess it's because I was very underwhelmed. I was expecting something really cool from the egg, and then like, uh, hit me out because I thought it was gonna be like a randomized one, and then Togepi came out the egg, and we were all a bit like, no. Mm. Boop, 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 boop. Are you still drawing? With, you are still drawing with your finger. That's really good for your finger, hun. Is that you? That's really good for your finger, honey. I, I wouldn't be able to draw with my finger. I think randomizing it's probably my most enjoyable way to play it at the minute though it makes everything so much more exciting because it's like you never know what you never know what's going to show up it's like oh my god imagine if someone reacted to you like that they probably have in all honesty cat like um i'm street someone gets home they've had like a really busy day they're like oh man i want to watch some of my favorite streamers and they go on twitch and um, they just go, oh, well, Adam's streaming. Stop it. What do we mean? This is the only channel I come to Twitch on. Really, cat? That's so sweet. Oh my god. Do you know that there's so many there's so much stuff you could watch on Twitch? It's crazy. Yeah, like my finger painting. Finger paint. Go power. <laughs> That's so sweet, hun. I like how you've given patches like little human hands as well. <laughs> it's like, look at me, I'm, I'm a guinea Oh my god, where did that movie come from? It's mad. It's got a knife. 
I say, he comes at me with that knife, I'll cave his face in and turn him into a dippy egg. Come here! I'm not scared of Toga Pete. I'm scared of dippy eggs. <laughs> yeah, there we go, that's a lethal combination. <laughs> He's back. I keep getting recommended hot tub streamers. <gasps> Should I do that? Should I get my One Piece? And uh, we can go qu <laughs> we can go questing for the One Piece in my One Piece. Hot tub dress up. Some no, is it sitting on me? Giant Togepi. I'll let my uh, pencil charge now. Oh, okay, sweetheart. Then I can draw and I can also put the iPad on charge. <laughs> so many things being charged at the same time. I can't believe Togepi sat on a, a giant Togepi. I don't like that. Though, I haven't said that though. Like I say, I don't really like Togepi, but I like the, like, um,. The big bird that he turns into eventually. Sojetic. No, it's the one after that. It's like Toge Kiss or something. He's shaped like a huge like jumbo jet. A hot tub we did well that was one of the first guinea pig YouTuber things we did, wasn't it? Is we put me in a hot tub. With Angela Lansbury and Dick Van Dyke. Tokus. Don't say that too much. We'll get a lot of strange Twitch people. Tokus? What? Hmm? Oh, hi. First time in the stream. I heard there was going to be Tokus in. <laughs> oh, no. Do -do -do. So disappointed you turned into a plane. <laughs> oh, wasn't you a fan? It's kind of like that big dragon that turns into a fridge. I can't remember the name of that. You guys know the one. He was in Sword and Shield, the big fridge dragon. How do you like... Sam, oh my god, Sam's coming out with, like, uh, knives out today, jeez. I'd be definitely comfier than a damp, uh, low tad. Lot had to be damp and cold. That'd be nice and warm and soft and dry. You guys want to sit on something damp or something soft? Lot had is soft. Cleo, that's you're biased because you are Lot had. <laughs> that's that's you. You might as well just say, I'm awesome. <laughs> Me. Why would you insult one of your own Pokemon? No, I said at the very beginning that I didn't like Lotad. Because Lotad was one of the starters. And I said I didn't like it. But everyone was like, Lotad's really cool. So we ended up picking Lotad. What was your choice of starters? Uh, Lotad. Uh, there was some kind of fully evolved one. But we said no to that one. Because it's kind of cheating. And, um, I don't know, something else. <laughs> The starting pool wasn't that great, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, gl 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 it's like a scorpion bat. Gliscor. Yeah, Steph's not a fan of him either. <laughs> you like Gliscor? Yeah, but because he was fully evolved, um, the majority of chat was like, oh no, we shouldn't... Re and that's true, it would have been very cheeky to get like a full-on... Um, a full-on evolved one right from the start. Lotad is stackable. <laughs> it's because his head's shaped like a chair. <laughs> I wonder if you could sit on a Lotad and it'd like waddle along, like, you know, like a chair, it'd walk along for you. 
Hippowdon's amazing. I'm so glad that we found a Hippowdon. Have you got a Hippowdon? Yeah, yeah, and we called it Froyo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so strong. Oh my god. It's the ultimate compliment. <laughs> Big Hippo, and it follows me around. I want to play it more with you guys as well. Because um, a lot of you guys are close to leveling up now, because we've got so far. Riding low tent like a pig in Minecraft. <laughs> you get like a little stick with a carrot on it. Come on, low tent. Come on. But they, no, if it's Cleo though, you'd have to sit on Cleo and have a stick with a string, and have one of those. Um, is it what's it called? A taiyaki thing? What what are those things? Those like fried fish things that have things inside. Is that what it's called? Yeah, one of those. That'll get Cleo going. A taiyaki. Yeah, get one of that. So come on, Cleo. And we played, um, in the stream we did yesterday, if you missed it, we played dress up as well. I, dr I dressed up Dinosaur and, um, and Putbug as well. I gave them both mustaches. And Din Dinosaur wanted giant boobs. And then Dinosaur wanted mustaches on their boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and because Pup Bug's um, an, an Aaron or an Aaron, you know, the little metal thing, it's got holes in it, so we put feathers in its holes and gave it a mustache and a bed and a disco ball. And a disco ball. Yeah. This is the. Oh, what's that? Why'd you have to make them so cute? I can't hate them then. I'm being sat on. You know the essential. Oh, Froyo, we need to dress up Hippowdon. Put him on the bed. Put Hippowdon with his come to bed eyes on the bed. But yeah, it's been so much fun playing that. I'm really glad that you guys have been into it because I've been having a really good time. And then obviously, if we like, if we actually get to the point where um, we complete that one, we could do another randomizer for uh, another Pokemon game if you wanted to. I haven't played like I. I don't. Oh God, I can't even remember now. I don't think I've done the black and white ones, and I know you guys have said in the past that those are quite fun. You're not convinced by Hippowdon proper again? Hippowdon's amazing! Like, it's so strong. I love Hippowdon. Shaped like a friend. Black and white's your favourite one? Isn't it the one with the edgy guy with the ponytail in that's called L or something? Oh no, L's, no, L's Death Note, isn't it? N, there we go. <laughs> it would be cool if L was in it. Mr. Christmas Tree. And he takes you on a Ferris wheel ride because he, he, like, fancies you or something, right? Oh, I know what steps you are in straight away. I know what that is, hun. Now, guys, I think Steph might be drawing crochet. I think. <laughs> you big ball of yarn. <laughs> That's what happens when you give the number to the ball. Not the delf number. 
Evolve Pot Jackson. Well, I, I was kind of tempted to, like, do some levels, like, off-stream, but if it, uh, especially with your characters, I'd be scared, like, you'd miss stuff with, like, picking moves, or if they even turned out to evolve and stuff, I'd, I'd feel really bad. It's working out. A few people, I don't know if they've updated or changed Magma recently. Just because a lot of people seem to be having trouble running it. I don't know whether it's because Magma is more popular these days or if they've updated it or changed it in some way. But a few people have been saying like, oh, it's really laggy for me or it doesn't load or it times out. Oh wow, it's right, it's that girl power, hun. Mm -hmm. It could be all the yeah, maybe, maybe. My PC is a bit pants. Oh bro, you know. I was I wanted I came up with a new catchphrase today. <laughs> and Steph hates it. <laughs> I don't think you've invented it. It's whenever something like whenever Steph finds like a really cool app on the app store or something. Why would you just say it in general for everything? Oh okay, I say it all the time. Well it's true, I do say it all the time now. I say to her, oh wow, that's apptastic. And she gets really <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to use the one when she eats a really yummy snack, and I say, that's snack-tastic. But I'm scared to use it now, because she just gets mad. <laughs> Adventure time ass catchphrase. <laughs> oh, no, that'd be fun on my catchphrase. That's app-tastic. Steph just groans. snack <laughs> oh my god. What's that burger you made, Snacktastic? That burger was... <laughs> I experienced every emotion with that one. Every stage of burger. Yeah, it was, it was, I was like, oh my god. Someone commented that, it made me laugh. <laughs> Absolutely horrible, clear. Oh! Need to high five Cleo across the ocean. Yes. Oh my god, this is the song that plays when you guys don't like my new catchphrase. It's like, you don't like Aptastic? You think it's lame? It's everyone That's my birthday! <laughs> Steph always says I'm a, I'm in I'm excited for hourly comic day. She never says I'm excited for your birthday. Oh, I <laughs> it looks like wet sand. It's not far off, uh, unicorns. I think I did a pretty bad job mixing it. Like um, the taste, it tastes just like a burger, and I was very impressed with that. But the texture and consistency was really off. But that's my fault. You put too much water. Yeah, I put too much water in. So if I it was done, like read the instructions. And he was just like, ah, I can't bother with that. Let's just make. It. I was just excited to make it. Yeah, I got a bit overzealous with that the water. That always happens with fucking fucking It's just so exciting. I want to like open all the packets and see everything's inside. But I'm sure if it was made like. You know, as close to as properly as it was supposed to. Yeah, Tyson it, was saying that he made one and it's tested exactly what the Like a burger, yeah, yeah. It's crazy that they can do that with, like, powder. It's super impressive. He wants it as watered down as if it were watercolour. That is not aptastic. Suck it. You tell me to suck it. Oh, stop it. So I was like, oh my god. Suck it was a catchphrase in the 90s as well. Oh, it's the 
Dancing Dragon song. Have you guys seen that Dancing Dragon? He has a, like a really long nose. Cleo says, oh my god, I love it when Steph says stop that. I get told it numerous times a day, Cleo. Oh, Ark says I love it. Yeah, it's got a big long nose and it dances. So Daniel says, I'm so autistic for how to train your dragon. Don't even get me started. It's a really cool movie series. Well, it was a book to begin with, wasn't it? But me being illiterate, the book series was kind of wasted on me. Steph and I went to the cinema to see the third one, and I cried. <laughs> I won't tell you at which bit, but for those of you guys that have seen it, you'll probably already know. Yeah, the Toothless, yeah, the Dragon Sun. <laughs> Burb says, I took your advice for the Septum and got a fake one. How's it going for you, Burb? The books are free? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, would I ever listen to them if they're free? That's awesome. Well, where are they free? Uh, they're free, apparently, on Audible. Ooh. Guys, would I be good? Should I audition to be um, a reader on Audible? Do you think I'd do a good job? I like it at the start when they say, This is Audible. It's like, <laughs> thank God. Where the, hell, what, where the hell am I supposed to be? This is Audible. And I said, and this is Adam. Hello. I want Adam's voice to, what, to laugh you to sleep? Oh my god. You listen to us to sleep, though? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, That makes me happy. Drift Vale. Drift Vale is the city, and the gym leader is Clay. Does he have ground type? Is that why it's called Clay? You forgot your unicode? That's okay. Do not worry. I kind of miss cassettes, guys. Like, with the music and stuff that I've made, I'd love to put some on a cassette sometime. That just seems like a really, like, novel thing to do. Just have a cassette player with some with some tunes on it. I love listening to the Smurfs soundtrack on my cassette. The Smurfs go pop. Remember that one? Pooper Scooper was one of my favorites. <laughs> That's a Pooper, oh, the Pooper Scooper song. Yeah, I remember that one. Liz says, Doodle Day videos keep me company while I work. Oh. Thanks for choosing us as well, guys. It's so sweet. We really appreciate it. It's so funny because, like, when I'm working on editing and stuff, I like I prefer to do it when Steph isn't around because she's so distracted. <laughs> because you're cute and you ask for things. I'll be editing away and she'll look at me and she'll wiggle her little empty bottle at me and she'll be like, "Would be able to have some juice?" <laughs> and it's like you can't say no, can you? It's like wiggling a little empty bottle at me. It's like oh, juice, please. It's like I, you can't go no. I'm just a little crochet lady and I'm a bit dehydrated right now. You would die to be in my shoes, but what? With Steph? Is that what you, is that what you, you, you want? To, you want to look after Steph? I do glamorize it. Yeah, that's what Pepper, Paprika wants to be in my shoes, just to look after you. <laughs> it's like, oh, I've just a little bit of juice for me. I've been crocheting all day and my mouth's ever so dry. It's <laughs> Paprika says it's the feminine urge to take care of pretty ladies. <laughs> <laughs> She's just a little lady. 
It broke my heart when um, we had a load of YouTube comments saying like, oh, Adam's so sweet that he makes Steph hot chocolates and stuff for her. And I'm like, don't you guys have anyone in your life to make drinks for you? And you all said, no, <laughs> I'd make drinks for you guys. Steph would love it as well, because if I got up to make you a drink, Steph would be like, Oh, are you going into the kitchen? Oh, I would like some juice too, and maybe a biscuit if we have biscuits. <laughs> and sometimes, she really likes to push her luck sometimes. I'll go and get her a biscuit, and I'll come back, and she'll be like, Hmm, I wanted one of the uh, one of those other biscuits. <laughs> it's like, you fuck <laughs> I go and get her the other biscuits that she wants. She doesn't like it when I go and pick mid-tier biscuits out. <gasps> Alec, that's true, you are! All of you are great and deserve a treat. Yeah, absolutely. You might think I'm being biased, but I think all you guys are great and deserve a treat. Got my little heated shawl on myself, so I always wear that now. <laughs> You'd feel weird about it. Well, that's that's the thing, isn't it? Everyone's different. The The reason that I do like to go and get it for Steph is... Well, well and as you guys know, is that she has trouble getting about. So, um... By going to get Steph that, if she's already comfortable, you know, it's not going to agitate anything. So, that's why I'm more than happy to do it. But if you guys are cool... <laughs> if you guys were cool to go and get it yourselves, I'd respect that. I'd be like, okay, you go and get your own. But then when I am getting up to go get something, I'm like, oh, do you want anything out of the kitchen while I'm, like, going to that side of that house? And you're like, oh, no. And then as soon as I come back, you then start, like, picking something up. Yeah, because I don't want you to risk, I don't want you to, like, <laughs> hurt yourself get getting it. You, that, you said no, and then he just goes and gets it. I'll go get it myself, yeah. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. What if it's like something heavy or, you know? It's not, it's normally like a biscuit or like That's a, a heavy biscuit. You might strain your wrist. Oh, hello, Confetti. Oh, good. Oh, my God. Good luck with your deadline thing. I hope you can, uh, I hope you manage that okay. I hate deadlines. When was the last deadline you had? Well, I've got that Dogs or Jobs one, haven't I? That I want to get it. I want to get it all done and sent off to Amazon by my birthday. It'd be great if it's available for my birthday, but um, I've got... I need to do an update in the video, but I might as well tell you guys as well, because you're here. I've got about three more pages to ink, and then all the pages are done. And then I just need to do the the inside, you know, the end paper things and the cover, and then that's it. But uh, because it's just sort of lying in, it, I feel bad like doing it on stream because um, it, the only reason I say that is because like on stream I did a lot of the rough, so <laughs> roughs. Uh, so you guys already know what it is. So I'm just sort of repeating myself and i'm like oh you don't want to see what you've already seen kind of thing it's fun to see the do, do, do. am i gonna play the train game on my birthday <laughs> oh, that would be do you want me to because my birthday ne is next week and it's on a thursday so it's a week tomorrow and um, I said I'd do a stream on Thursday, so we could hang out together. So uh, if you want me to play trains on my birthday, we can play trains. I was genuinely going to end up asking you what you wanted. Uh, oh, well, what you? No, no, I, like I like it. You know, everyone to be sort of enjoying it. So uh, I was going to end up asking you guys anyway. A train tier list? But I only really know English ones. That's the thing. I don't know. I don't know very, very many American ones, sadly. America used to have, like, really, really, like, gigantic steam train things. You're moving on my birthday, girl? That's, oh my god, that's what you've been waiting for that for ages, though. 
Don't worry about that. Moving is like mega important. You should definitely be focusing on that. A little oddish with a pistachio or some juice, please. Yeah. <laughs> juice, please. Why is it an oddish? Oh, bloody oddish. And Steph's been really enjoying her crocheting. She's been wrapped up all nice and cozy. She's been living that, like, granny cottagecore life. <laughs> where uh, she's been all wrapped up in, like, fleeces and her dressing gown. And it's been, like, really windy outside and stormy here. And she goes like, oh, the weather's frightful. Oh, and I, I missed a step in my crochet. Oh, crumbs. I think it's like a, a normally like messing about with a fidget toy and it feels kind of like a fidget toy. Oh yeah, I guess so. It's good for like a alleviating some like anxiety, which I have in peeps. <laughs> well the sound of the wind makes the pigs and staff nervous. It broke a fence uh, nearby us. Like it didn't like blow it down, it like it, Literally snapped it, broke it. Your dog got knocked out from you now. Was the was the dog? Were you and the dog okay? A freak shot. Yeah, it's like you know when the wind like hits a building and it like it might like make the windows whistle or it it just goes suddenly like poof, like that. It it makes Steph jump. It freaks her out. She was fine, just surprised. Oh, baby! You love the song? I like, yeah, I kind of like it. It makes me feel cozy, but uh, the pigs, the pigs and Steph are not fans. So I'm like, oh. But that's fine, because when I need to go out to get stuff, it makes me feel extra useful, because only I can do it. I'm like, oh, oh! Oh, you like thunder? Steph doesn't like thunder, and neither does uh, Patches. He doesn't like <laughs> Yeah, Patches is like, he's such a big softie, he's massive, but he gets scared very easily. <laughs> Do Patches and Steph cuddle together? Oh, during Thundersums? Yeah, Steph's cuddled Patches before, yeah. Preston's not so... He's not too bothered by it. So I'll, like... If Steph cuddles with Patches, I'll go and sit with uh, Creston, because... you. Well, I think you guys know, don't you? Uh, Creston's not very much of a fan of being held or picked up, so... If Steph cuddles with Patches, I sit with him so he's not alone. I'll have a play with him. You want it to be a tornado chaser? Oh my god. <laughs> Patches' face when he's getting petted is adorable. Well, he, he like poofs out and he closes his eyes. He's like, what? It's like a big pom pom. What's missing from that picture you're doing, honey, is you with, a, with a, like a juice cup or something. <laughs> juice, please. Steph loves juice. <laughs> We've got this one that has blueberries in it at the minute, and oh, she, okay. she loves her blueberry juice. She's like, oh, wow, blueberry juice, please. She doesn't like juice that's like, you know those ones that you can get that are like double strength and stuff? She so doesn't strong. She doesn't like that. She says it feels like her mouth's being beaten up. I need to make a sticker for you. That, that one that uh, we used in a video once where it said delicate lady. So you're definitely a delicate lady. She doesn't like to wrestle. I was wrestling with her in the morning when she was half asleep and she kept going, ow, what's happening? Ow. <laughs> Stop. I was like, fight me, honey. Ow, what's happening? So ow. The back is like your heel off like my ankle and it feels so delicate right? Because I'm fighting you, fighting your little ankles. Come here.
That's what full of nectar. Oh my god. <laughs> Blueberry juice, yeah. Do you guys like blueberries? They're definitely up there on the the berry tier list, shall we say? I wanted to draw a character with a cassette player, hun, because she's got the new Spice Girls cassette. She wants to come over to your house to listen to, um, Wannabe. It's, it's playing all these tunes. Blueberry coffee, ooh! See, that'd be cool if the fact that coffee didn't taste like, like, diarrhea water. Mm -hmm. There you go. Heartless has Norwegian wild blueberries. Up there, though, you have cloudberries as well, and Steph really likes cloudberry jam. Cleo says, I think the Spice Girls was my first type of fixation. That's adorable! Steph liked the Spice Girls, too. I ate a strange sandwich so that I could get a Spice Girls badge or something as well. That's true, yeah. It's like one of my earliest memories. Ikea jam? Ikea has jam? Oh, I like jam. Is it pronounced Ikea? Because I've seen people start calling it Ikea. You know, like email? Is that how you're supposed to say it? It's like how Skoda is pronounced Skoda. Crochet Queen. Why do you know what time? <laughs> Stop that, Sam! That right there is an illustration of someone that drinks coffee, I can tell. That's the Swedish pronunciation. So technically that is right then, isn't it? Because IKEA is from Sweden. IKEA. So we should really be saying it, because you guys invented it. So we should really be saying it how you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's more of an E. Yeah, we should really be saying it like you guys say. That's <laughs> it. That's been not very cultural right now. <laughs> he says, no one can't make me do nothing. Like, oh, let's respect different cultures and call it how it should be called. I don't have to say nothing! Steph the Rebel. I haven't actually uh, checked yet. Right, let's have a look what everyone's doing. <laughs> oh my god, pig stuff! Now that's cute. Someone's drawn you as a pig. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Isn't that great? And Cleo's drawing their uh, their their Pokemon. Uh, oh. <laughs> I like how you evolve from a chair to like. This character with big boobs and a hat. <laughs> That's the ultimate evolution there. When you evolve boobs. <laughs> oh, these are looking so cool. Oh, it's looking really good, guys. Oh my god, it's a mouse! I like the moose. Oh. What's going on up here? Griff, this looks raunchy. What's going on here? 
My tail, my tail is yummy. <laughs> my tail is yummy. You got a pair of t oh, you got shandy, t sh shandy, shiny <laughs> tandem mouse. I love my wife. Oh my god, that's well cute. Oh, it's a bird. I'm obsessed with Drifloon. That's really well done. Look how shiny it is. That's really cute. I like Drift Rune, and, and is it Drift Blim, the bigger dude? Oh, 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 it's another little oddish baby. Ooh, who's that friend? <gasps> Power Yes, it's the banana beard guy. Hello, Pony. That's really cool. Are they having a smooch? Trope Tropius. Yeah, Banana Man. Oh, it's cute. Everyone's drawing such good stuff. Jeez. Heartless, I know those are blueberries, but... Wow. <laughs> what a pair of blueberries. <laughs> Gosh dang. Wow. Lenny! <laughs> Lenny, it was you. And he's like, mm -hmm. take me to the fresh fruit aisle immediately. <laughs> take a bite out of those blueberries. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you guys is funny. A new euphemism just <laughs> What are we gonna do with all of you guys? You're all so filthy. I'm gonna have to like wash your mouth out. I might make it maybe oh maybe maybe maybe. If we redid the face, maybe I will draw them looking all shy. Because they're like, oh my god, we could go back to my house and we could listen to the new Spice Girls CD. Well, the cassette, I had to buy the cassette because it was cheaper. You started it? I didn't do nothing. I just said that those were really nice looking blueberries. I just thought they looked really... Really big. <laughs> I thought they looked cool. Oh my god, what's that? Natural blueberries. Oh, guys, I'm never going to be able to look at blueberries the same. Say, so my, those are big blueberries you're growing. Yes, they're all natural too. Oh. Oh, Metrics, thank you for the follow. How are you doing? Uh oh. You guys didn't hear that, did you? <laughs> uh oh. 
Thank you for the raid. Oh my god. Martin, thank you for the raid. How did it go? Look. I wasn't being weird. Look. Someone is drawing big natural blueberries. See? It's heartless. It's not me. Bonks. <laughs> what are you bonking me for? I didn't do anything. Oh god, thank you for the follows, guys. That's really sweet. But yeah, we're drawing together today. That's what we're doing here. We're all drawing together. I'm drawing this one in the corner here, but this everyone else is sort of drawing along with us. You gotta move, but keep it up. Oh, thanks, my mind. That's really sweet. Thank you. Many witnesses. That wasn't... No, that wasn't me. No. I was being a good boy. <laughs> oh my god. New nickname for blue footed boobies. Happy my blueberries look good. <laughs> oh. Everything's gonna get taken out of context. Everyone's blueberries look great. Congratulations. I think I prefer the other one better. We have what? Don't say blue bees. That's weird. Blue bees. We can be atoms. <laughs> Is that what you are now? My little, my little blue bees. No, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that very much. Get your head out of the gutter. What? I promise you, I'm, I am being nothing but an angel. I don't want to redraw the whole face now. You know when you focus on something too much and you're just like, ugh. I feel like I'm drawing them way too close together now. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying blue. Be Stop that. <laughs> Girls love blue berries. Is that true? <laughs> Do all the girls like blueberries? You're allergic to them? Oh god. It's okay, you can be allergic to something and still like it. <laughs> A lot of people are saying they're mid, hun. It's not their favorite. Steph's going to teach you that you are wrong. Mm Oh, I love the thing that you've done, though, and that's really good. Which one? 
The one that you've done of your uh, of yourself. Did you see the yeah, that's really good. You've done that so quick as well. So Confetti gets it. Full of antitoxins and cognitive function. <laughs> Steps like a great, like you knew that. Look who's a great kid. Are they great? <laughs> I know this a little bit better. Can I merge this down? Let's click it. Transfer it down. And then lock the opacity because I'd like to change the color just a little bit. Well, what is your guys' favorite fruit then? Do you guys have a favorite fruit? Mango and pineapple. Oh, honeydew melon. Peaches. I think dragon fruit's good. I think we talked about dragon fruit before. Like, it looks really cool. Its taste is very subtle. But I think it's nice. I need to charge my pencil again. <laughs> Alright, no worries, son. Girls love me. <laughs> oh, that's cute. They're gonna like tear him apart like a pinata. <gasps> like, oh, they love my father. It's a little detail, but near where I've got like my crochet hook, I put the little circle button and it's on. Oh! Because I put the red light on, which means that it's keeping me dusty. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, and your little blankie. It's important to keep, keep Steph's bones warm, otherwise she'll start to ache. Was it hard setting up the randomizer, Cleo? Um, I, well, I didn't do it on a phone. Uh, on the computer, the one that we do to stream with, like, no joke, it took, like, five minutes. <laughs> it was, on the, on, like, a PC, it's, it's so easy to do. I would assume for a phone, it's gonna be pretty, I assume it'd be much of the same. Actually, yeah, it would be really easy, actually. You need to use a program to, uh, randomize the ROM, but then you'd be able to put the ROM onto your computer. Uh, onto your phone so yeah it'd be really easy actually yeah yeah it would take what an extra minute to put it onto your phone so yeah yeah it, it'd be really easy really really easy what's the story behind your character it's girl power what she's doing is she's coming to your house with her boom box because she wants to play the new spice girls cassette with you where's the spice girls cassette it's in there it's in there she's ready to play it can you draw all the Spice Girls? No, you draw all the bloody Spice Girls. <laughs> draw them all as blueberries. <laughs> and call them the Spicy Berries. Yeah, be, be the change you want to see in the world, hun. You do it. My pencil's charging. Yeah, like you wouldn't bloody do that anyway. 
like, oh, I would love to do it, but you know, I, my 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 battery, it's, it's flat and I can't do it. I need someone, I need a strong, handsome man to do it for me. I'll just have to sit here and eat chocolate while I'm yeah, well, <laughs> This is my coping me me mechanism. I eat chocolate while I can't do it. Listen, slip that thing. It's my first time using magma and I'm struggling so hard. It does take a while to, like, get used to. Yeah, listen, it really, it does. There is a learning curve with it. But we always say that if you get stuck and if you need help with anything, uh, just ask for it. There's no such thing as, like, a, um, a stupid or wrong question with it. Because it is, it's a it's like a brand new program thing. So, uh, yeah, definitely don't be shy to ask if you're a bit stuck. And we'll try our best to help you out. Oh, the berry girls. Oh my god, Jan, they could be different berries. That's actually really cute. What about the backstreet berries? Oh. You should draw every 90s band as a blueberry. As a blueberry. <laughs> Instead of Michael Jackson, you could have Michael Jack Fruit. That'd be really cool. You've cut your hair, EJ? Nice! Oh, my lovely, thank you for the follow as well there. Thanks for your follows as well, guys. That's a very, very sweet view. I really appreciate it. Some of you drawn like an artist with like a freakishly big foot trying to squash me. <laughs> gonna kill you. Why is he trying to kill me? This is just more proof that Adish is nasty. He's going in the cooking pot. <laughs> Hope you guys don't get attached to Adish because it, it's the last you're gonna see of him, I'm afraid. The Dynamax works only on his foot. I asked him if he wanted to go shoe shopping and that was his reaction. Internship and apprenticeship? To me, the intern is for transition from school to... I, I don't know. I, I, I don't have any right to talk about the topic because I've never been either. You know what my first job was? I worked in an office, and uh, what my I asked them. I said, um, "From my resume, what's my official title?" And they laughed and they said, "Oh, silly boy, you're the office bitch." <laughs> Did you write it on your resume? Yeah, office bitch. <laughs> oh. Do 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 do. Guys, don't worry. The person that called me that was my brother. It wasn't just... It wasn't some random, don't worry. <laughs> if it was some random person... <laughs> I would have took it a little bit differently. Now it was my brother. Oh, happy Griff. Thank you for coming along. Yeah, thanks Griff. Take it easy. Men stealing all the good jobs. Paprika, you don't deserve to be an office bitch. You deserve... It deserves better. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it was my brother. It wasn't a random. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. It's very sweet that you were all coming running to uh, defend me, though. That's very sweet of you. Keeps jumping to the other lane. Go on that. Yeah, there. Bro, I good, was I good at that? Oh, I was the best bitch. It's like, you know the book series, The Worst Witch? I was the best bitch. Steph used to really like The Worst Witch series. The old TV series was really good. Still a bitch to this day. I never grew out of it. 
Okay, did you like it as well? Steph really loved it, yeah. And like she was saying in the TV show of it as well. We watched a couple of the old episodes on Patreon stream once. We did, yeah. And it has like crazy similarities to Harry Potter, considering the worst witch came out before it. We've got a stanky cranky behind me. I'm sure whatever you've done or said isn't that serious. It's very serious. <laughs> I'm sure it's not serious. Oh, it's serious. Patrick with bulldogs and so you know he said something that's really pissed him off. Yeah, E check, that was the thing that we watched, yeah. I thought it was very it's very cute and very cozy. From Patches. He says he wants his mama. All that kerfuffle, and then I come over and you act as good as gold. Because I know if I sit back down, you'll start doing it again. That's what that's what they do. In the uh, the vlog stuff that we're filming for this week, we got uh, patches showing uh, guinea pig affection. Where if you fuss, me. <laughs> yeah, if you fuss a guinea pig, they start to groom and like clean you. And we got footage of him doing that today. Cause that's a it's similar to uh, similar to cats and dogs you know like when they like lick you or clean you guinea pigs do it as well but guinea pigs it's more erratic it's like lots of cleaning in very short bursts <laughs> oh, i've got fuzzy legs yet so patches like wow let me clean you father it's like i'm good patches i don't need this Then he'd like bite. <laughs> yeah, bite there. Yeah, Brendel Brendel did clean me very aggressively, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, just, I need to scrub you, you're filthy. And there was a lot of tongue and then also A lot of tongue. <laughs> yeah, he did, didn't he? How thoughtful of him. Yeah, it's just him being nice. Patches really goes overboard though. You're like soaked by the time he's done. It's <laughs> yeah. like Patches, oh my god. It's cute. Yeah, I mean, I'd much rather be, like, uh, washed by him than, like, I don't know, like, be bitten by him or something, you know, yeah. The internet loves my Dynamax feet. Stop, no! Don't do it! <laughs> wicky feet, yeah. Audacious feet, Oh, The internet is... Moist at Oddish's feet. Seriously, we could like fill like a, a, a weekly video thing with footage just of the guinea pigs sometimes. They're always doing something. But, uh, oh, start the tracks of smoke him. No, not smoke. Oh, you won't like smoke him, man. They're too human looking. I'm glad you got it working, oh, though. Smooch. Because, like, if you've got the oh, if you've got the emulator on your phone, then now, uh, you just take the randomized ROM and put that onto your phone. Load that through the emulator, and then uh, yeah, it, it should work that way. Shouldn't really talk about emulation on Twitch, but that's how you do it. Oh, Vito, thank you for the follow. How are you doing? Don't name it after me. What the hell? I don't want to be a smoochum. I'm just going to steal colours from stats. <laughs> Come on, you guys can give me that, right? I, you know, I have trouble picking colors. Thank you, dear. 
I might just steal colours from all of you guys. Congratulations. Oh, that's a licky tongue song. That's really cool. I never see anyone really draw a licky tongue. That's really cool as well. I like how you've drawn like his tongue all folded up. Isn't that cool looking? Oh, licky tongue. Did someone say tongue? <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. We got there. Oh, he's cute looking. I like him. Lucky Tongue. People don't seem to like him very much, do they? Some makes the cutest stuff. Yeah, I really like Sam's art style as well. Some would be really good at drawing like comics. Well, like, we some's a mystery. Some might do. It was like pulling teeth, getting some to make an Instagram. <laughs> Someone's like, "Oh, I, I don't really have an Instagram, and it doesn't really work." So, my so okay. I've got an Instagram. I believe so. Yes. Even though I say to you guys on these, make sure you put your socials. Some never does. <laughs> It's because some doesn't want to know that they've been sassing me the whole stream. Your boyfriend got you a Licky Tongue Lego thing? Really? Ooh, that sounds like fun. Oh, maybe like one of the Mega Blocks ones, because they've got like a collaboration with Pokemon. Oh, really? Did you guys like my Pika shoes that I shown? Pika shoes. I was wearing them when I made that burger. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> my Pika shoes. That's rare. You know me, I'm normally marching around. That's why I don't film my feet in videos and I try to avoid it because I'm always marching around with nothing on my feet, so. It was from AliExpress, so it's a bootleg. Oh, well, that's, that's the thing about it. As long as you like it, you know, that's the main thing. I'm sure he's like thrilled that you know. Who cares if it's official or not? The fact that you like it—that's the most—that's the most important thing. I'd be really thrilled if, like, there was a Bidoof one. Oh, he e says my sister got the Charizard and Snorlax Mega Blocks, and an AliExpress side. Oh. That's so cute. Oh, really, Cleo? Oh my god, thank you. I'll check that. Out. I love, I love some uh, some Bidoof stuff. I know some people find Bidoof annoying, but I think he's really charming. Looks like, looks like yeah, it looks like Brendel, and I like his little call where he goes, woo woo! <laughs> it's like, oh, Bidoof, he's here! Whooping. Yeah, it does, it sounds like a guinea pig whooping, yeah. Woo woo! We saw one of those, uh, Mega Blocks that was like, the shops together. It's a Charmander one. But oh, yeah. Magazine. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. Yeah. And spent all our money. So no. Def, Def blew our budget on the guinea pig magazine. <laughs> <laughs> but we couldn't like that. It's rare to see anything guinea pig like theme. So we're like, oh my god. We definitely needed to pick up the pig magazine. And it was fun to show with you as well. I really enjoyed looking through that with you. I'm going to color it. Some of the pages to look fun. You should colour in some of the pages. I could film you doing it if you wanted. Might go with a different colour. What if I went with the blue? Oh no, that would look...
I'm glad that you guys thought it was cute as well. Yeah. Because it's sort of become a thing now where every so often... I know, well, we like to get the Pokemon one. But um, every so often we'll get like a magazine and like share it with you. Don't know if I like the blue. If leveling takes a long time, it has a speed up button. I kind of, well, I have to admit, I've been tempted to. But I've also really enjoyed like just taking my time with you guys because we get to see everything and just have a giggle at everything. I've been really enjoying it. You don't know how the fill talk? Oh, Sparkle, you're not the only one. I, I refuse to use it. Because it makes every... It, you know how it feels like the whole screen? It's like... Ugh. But if that happens, don't worry. You like being a rat? Hey, check, you're so strong now. Oh my god. And the fact that you're able to poison people if they touch you as well, you're so overpowered. <laughs> I heard you said something in your stream about the step of survive being poisoned, and you're like, yes. I don't want to read that. Someone, a, a really nasty Pokemon poisoned you, and we were trying to run to the Pokemon Center, but you survived the poisoning with one HP. And it, and it came up saying, Steph has survived the poisoning. I was like, oh god. Pokemon cards that you got for your birthday and stuff in this vlog. No, because um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be saving them or not. I, I, I don't want to, like, open anything, you know, that's been given to me for my birthday early if I'm not supposed to, you know? What I could do, because I'm streaming on my birthday, is I could stream it with you guys. And then we could play the train game afterwards. Did you draw any hourly comics? No. It's my birthday, I do what I want. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I like how you go, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we could do that. We could open some cards together and then play a train game on my birthday if you wanted to. It was, unicorns, it was scary, yeah. When we were in the cave with the slowpoke tails, and we came across that slowpoke that had mail with it, and it said, like, oh, look after your dad and my daughter and stuff. It's like, slowpoke, no! That was dark. I didn't like that bit. How many canvases are there on the screen? There's four. Oh, four. Just underneath, like, the main canvas that you draw on, there should be four little windows. Why do you draw a little look at the other? And you can switch between them. Yeah, like, this is, if I zoom out, like, this is obviously, like, the first one. This is canvas number one. And then just below this big canvas thing here, there'll be two, three, and four. So this is number two. Oh, baby! Sleepy baby! Oh, that's a cute... It's drinking juice! Oh! That's adorable. Yeah, so this is canvas number two. Froyo's drawing a big old moose. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Oh, God. And up here we have Griff when they were talking about catching a shiny tandem mouse. Oh. And the slowpoke saying, my tail yummy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got canvas number three. There's Arx's character there. We got a Meryl and an Oddish. You guys, you guys, I tell you, I don't like Oddish, but I like how you guys draw Oddish. Yeah, like Mar Marl's pretty cool, too. Marl's a big round mouse. Big round mouse. That's the mouse. Neon, it's awesome. I knew who it was right away. And then on number four, this pony drawing the, yeah, the uh, Tropius with the banana beard. Oh. Well, that's heartless. With those, with those big 
ripe, juicy blueberries. <laughs> Gosh dang. Oh, that one's cute too. You are all so happy in the grass. Let's move the advertising for Rhymina with the black curry. Yeah. You lost the first battle? How did you pick? Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, it's a little bird friend. Oh, my God. Wow, that looks just like pencil as well. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, I picked a right. Oh, a right you as a starter. That's pretty cool, Cleo. And the rival had an Aerodac. So, ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Oh, here you are, Burb. I was wondering where you were. Ultimate Girl Boss. Honorary Girl Boss. And Girl Power Bunny. <laughs> Adorable! I love, I love how you draw faces and, like, cheekbones and stuff. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, so Bye, Heartless. I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon, Heartless. Take it easy. Some's been busy. What are you drawing, Some? Sam, are you drawing the blueberry <laughs> spice girl? <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Thank you for your service. <laughs> oh my god, that's really good. <laughs> it needed to happen one way or another. Sam, <laughs> is that posh berry? <laughs> that's real. Sam, that's really, really good. That's a that's amazing. That's crazy. Well done. Oh, oh, what are you saying? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, Sam, you're so welcome, silly. You're more than welcome. I really like yours as well, honey. Steph's is very cozy. And Sportsberry. And Babyberry. <laughs> Babyberry. <laughs> She's just a baby. Steph used to like uh, Baby Spice. Was she your favorite one, honey? Yeah, because when I was a kid, I was like white blonde, and I liked that her hair was like really blonde. Oh, so she had similar hair to yeah. you. Yeah, it's like it's blonde representation. <laughs> blonde representation, because <laughs> you know those those blondes don't get represented, do they? I also really liked uh, Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls as a kid. Oh, because she was blonde as well. <laughs> blonde representation, man. <laughs> <laughs> Chat's losing it a little bit. Your blonde representation, dude. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> oh my god, wow. <laughs> yeah, no, there she is. She's chaotic, isn't she? Yeah. Well, you wouldn't want to change her, though, right? Oh my god, the surreal! Where did that come from? It's got a syringe! <laughs> Touch me, I dare you. Where did you get that syringe from? Got from the uh, Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> the Spice Girls. The Spice Girls gave each a syringe <laughs> to nurse Joy. Oh, I love Poke. I love you guys. I love the Pokemon versions of you guys as well. You're all pretty dang cute.
You've made me want to give these a pink dressing gown as well. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that um, the reason why I wanted to call Mew Steph is because I call Steph cute and pink. And Mew is cute and pink. Cute and pink. Because Steph's cheeks are always so pink. She, but Steph, do you guys, does this happen to you guys? Like, Steph blushes so easily at stuff. Like, if Steph sees, like, a, a picture of a cute guinea pig on Twitter, she'll blush and their <laughs> cheeks go really pink. She's like, oh, it's a baby. Cheeks are always so pink. Cute and pink. Your cheeks are natural. Oh, you have rosy cheeks. Oh, see, I think that's adorable. And like when you have like a cold and you get a little rosy nosy. You'll think, you'll think about running and your cheeks go red. Like, oh no, I look so cute in my lycra, my running shorts. Oh. You can feel it. Oh, unicorns, do you get like butterflies? I like you. Stay bored. That's oddish. I learned recently about, uh, with guinea pigs, and just going back to them, is that, uh, you know, like, when guinea pigs show dominance, they rumble strut, which is where they make, like, a purry sound and they wiggle their butts? Well, apparently, guinea pigs like to do that when they're sat up somewhere high. Like, say if they jump on top of their house, there are guinea pigs that like to rumble strut because they, they like, li they, like, feel literally hot, like, big and strong because they're up somewhere high. So they'll climb on their house and rumble struck because they're like, oh yes, look at me, I'm so big and strong. It's like what pits where like one of them will stand on something in the playground and they'll be like, I'm the king of the castle. King of the castle, king of the castle. They're so tall. Yeah, basically it's like, look at me, I'm so big. <laughs> Oh my god, I love the spiced berries, Sam. That's insane. <laughs> Rose. Oh, rosacea roses. That's how you pronounce it, right? I think that. that. But then again, like, again, when I was younger, because I had, like, Every, every skin condition under the sun, I was such a sensitive child when it came to skin stuff. Yeah, you broke out in like rashes and stuff. Very like easily, easy. yeah. Very rashy. Whereas I was always the poor tummy child. Oh. It makes me like mosh and sick. Is that, is that why you always relate to those like stomach ache memes? Yeah. <laughs> like nobody realizes how brave I'm being because I have a tummy It's ache. like a picture of a sad cat saying I'm being brave because I've got a tummy yeah. ache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I don't get it, and stuff's like, oh, this goes hard. Do any of you guys own boom boxes? I'd like to own, like, a thing that has, like, a cassette player in one day. If they still make it. Or if the ones that are, were old still exist, thinking about it. People who don't get motion sickness have no idea. I know, and I get it from playing Minecraft and all things. Yeah, how much is on the bus? Ugh. Oh. I remember when Steph and I went to Kew Gardens, because we're both, like, we're not, like, the best travellers in the world, both of us. And I remember we got on the bus, and Steph was like, look, if you need anything, don't worry, just talk to me, it'll be okay. <laughs> ten, ten minutes later, Steph barfs. I'm just like, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll help you. After me, yeah. 
was like, I was like, it's okay, it's okay, honey, it's alright. And Seth was like, don't touch me, <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> so I was just trying to hold your hair out the way, honey. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> You're so sweet, though. I just think it's sweet as she was like, look, you've got nothing to worry about. I'll look after you. <laughs> you're cool to your honey. <laughs> your eyes are all watery and you're sniffing. You're like, oh, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> And then all the bus staff wanted to check up on me. Yeah, everyone on the bus was like, oh, are you okay, dear? Are you okay? I mean, it was nice. They were, they were very friendly. I mean, that, that was really sweet. Oh, he checks us they can't play half -Life. That's so interesting that so many of you guys get it from, uh, from games. I, I've never really experienced it from games before, so... Uh... Obviously, hearing it from Steph, I was like, oh, no way, is that quite rare? But I'm surprised how many of you guys get it as well. Is there ways to reduce it? Like, can you... Because Steph read, and, well, one thing that helps Steph is um, not playing the game full screen. Like, if you play it in a little window, you know, so you can see, like, the rest of your computer screen and stuff. That, I think helps. that helps with motion sickness, though. Just like that so I can see what time it is when I'm playing <laughs> Wow, pro gamer hours. I thought you were doing it to legitimately help you. No, I just like it when it's a little window. <laughs> I just like little windows. Yeah, there's all kinds of motion sickness things. And like, like the little band things. Yeah, I tend to get the wristbands whenever I have to travel somewhere. And I also get like patches that I put behind my ears. That smell like ginger. Yeah, smell gross, but you keep coming over and sniffing behind my ears. <laughs> I was like, what's going on behind there? Yeah, have you guys had those patches that you put behind your ears? Those those work for, for Steph. Those have worked really well in the past. They're like little they're like little stickers that you put behind your ears. sell once so it was really nice and I bought it for Adam but he doesn't play it and I wish I bought it for himself. <laughs> yeah, <that's good. laughs> he doesn't appreciate my gift I wish I found myself that ungrateful swine. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can find like supermarket lights and stuff, a bit like overbearing. I I never used to like those ones that they would use in schools, like those ones that were like tubes. Oh, the and they would like flicker and stuff. Like oh my god, it hurt my eyes. Like hospital lights as well are pretty intense. Yeah. Although the place where we took you to have your therapy, I always thought that was really cosy. Because they gave you like nice chairs and things as well. Like the waiting room where we used to go for Steph and her therapy had better seats than like what we have at home. Oh my god. But then we moved it to a different building after a few years. They had that gigantic chair in the waiting room, didn't they? Yeah, it was strange. It was like one of those... It was like a novelty chair. Yeah, there was, this, there was this really weird chair in the waiting room. It was like a regular chair, but it was like four times as big. So like I had, I had to like climb into it and stuff. It felt like a throne. You look like such a little boy when you were sat in it. <laughs> I look like a big boy in the big boy chair, actually. <laughs> there was nothing little about being in that chair. I was the big boy. Oh my god, it's Scary Berry. Is she related to Mary Berry? That 
that's so good. Some, like, that's amazing how you've captured the likeness of them so well. I think that's, what, like, what's so impressive. It's like, I, I know who they are. That's, like, so cool. That's something that I struggle with all the time, is getting the likeness of people, but I know who those are, and that's amazing. Was it Creston? Let me zoom out a second, because I just need to give him some hay. There we go. If I put it there for you. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break and feed the pigs, but I'll move the microphone next to Steph. Oh, I was just about to go take a bathroom break as well. Oh, was you? I need one as well. Do you want to go first? No. <laughs> then you can have that. <laughs> okay. If you're holding it in, it didn't work. We're gonna be good boys, yeah? I never know what to talk about when it's just me and the microphone. I get scared. Oh, <laughs> I get that feeling, you know, when someone passes the telephone to you. Yeah. It's like, oh, your brand's on the phone. Hello. <laughs> right, I'll be quick then. I'll make it as less awkward as possible. Thank you. Yeah, but don't worry about it, Steph. Thank you. I just feel like I'm talking to myself and then I get self-conscious. <laughs> I don't doesn't seem to get affected with that. The feeling when your friends leave you alone at the party, yeah. If you want, you can talk about the crocheting stuff. Oh, I've been doing a lot of crocheting stuff recently. I've been making so many, uh, well, attempting to make so many spheres, and I've finished something as well, which I'll have to put in the next vlog. In fact, I've drawn it in my uh, little drawing of myself and my crochet. Some kind of like a vegetable slash eggplant thing. Going to parties, can't roll it. Yeah, something I've always struggled with since I was a kid is anything where there's like live music or and because I've grown up with like a, a musical family. I've been around a lot of live music and events and like people on like those big microphones with audiences. Oh and yeah. I can feel like the the bass of it, like go through like my stomach and it hurts that's the only way i can put it mm. but everyone like socially they love going out and no, having like I a it. and they want to pay money to go and do it and that's the last thing i want to do is to pay for a tummy ache i already <laughs> <laughs> I can get those for free <laughs> if steph just thinks too much about stuff she gets a tummy ache <laughs> i can take it back oh okay i've left the light on for you so okay. it's not spooky Stuff gets a little bit afraid of the dark when it's windy and stuff. When it's dark. <laughs> oh, when it's just dark. You got this, hon. She, she closed the door and she said, I'll be brave. <laughs> oh, dear. I really like the uh, loops that uh, my friends got for me. Those have been amazing. Like, if you're ever able to try loops, for me, they've been, they've been so helpful. They're great. Oh, do you have some already, E-Check? You were yeah, Sparkle. Yeah, I was. Um, I was really impressed with how well they work because, like, where we live can get quite loud at night, just because of the area that we live in and stuff. And um, I've wore them at night. I've wore them out and about as well. And uh, I'm super impressed with how well they've they've worked. They're really, really good. So if you do struggle with loud sounds and stuff, and you're not fussed because they are in ear ones, you know, like plugs. 
as long as you're okay with that because um, as far as I know that's the only type that they come in but they work very very well I was very impressed with them and I use them a lot Do -do -do. That, it's the same, yeah. I thought that because I was worried that they would like fall out, but they don't. Yeah, they once they're in, they stay in really well. I was very impressed. The yes, uh, Sparkle. Yeah, they just block out exterior sounds. Yeah. I might, I might steal Steph's idea and turn this dressing gown into a heart. Oh, it's cute looking! Oh no, it's not an artist. Oh no, it's an artist dressing gown. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the foam ones. I can't get along with the foam ones, and I'm kind of scared of the ones that expand, because uh, when I worked in an old place, uh, a guy I worked with got one stuck in his ear, and I had to get it out for him. He came running, he came running, he, he like ran in and was like, I can't hear anything! And he wasn't like doing that dramatically, he was just really loud because he couldn't hear anything. <laughs> Can you help me? He's like, oh my god, what's wrong? <laughs> That's a really dig around. He, he jammed it really in there. What way did I do the dressing gown on? I can't even. I can't even find it. Can't be that. Is it this? No, can't be that. No, come with that one either. This one? No. What dressing gown? Oh. Not that one. This one? Oh, I did it on the same one as the radio. Hello again, hun. We're all proud of you because you were being very brave. Back in the dark. In the darkness. And that scares you. It walking down that corridor until I get me. You just gotta to walk towards the light of my love. Speaking of this morning, Steph uh, gave me a roast as soon as she woke up this morning, didn't you? Yeah. I woke up before Steph. And then uh, when she woke up, she woke up and opened her eyes and looked sleepily towards me. And she pulled like a strange face and I was like, oh, you're alright, did you sleep funny? And she, she just went, your beard's out of control. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, it's all fuzzy and it's going everywhere. And I was like, oh, well, I like it. And she was like, we need to buy you a new razor. <laughs> so I got, I like, Good morning to you too. I yeah. need to draw your beard now. <laughs> your beard's out of control. That's not cool. Charming. Are you going to draw it for me? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's inspired her to draw <laughs> something. Oh, the spice berries! That's awesome, son. That's really cool. Like, I always, like, super duper find it adm admirable that, um, you know when you can catch, like, make, catch someone's likeness? That, that's amazing. Where are you going, Han? I'm trying to keep my eye on you. Oh, there you are. You know it's like, he's got a sweat there. What do you mean I've got a square face? I don't like this. <laughs> I 
It looks like a Minecraft squid running. <laughs> Doesn't it? it? Looks like he's running on his little legs. I keep telling Steph I, I'm in my Greek philosopher era and she's having none of it. Oh no, that doesn't look very philosophical. You you always draw me with a regular nose, and then you draw it massive. Why do you do that? The likeness. You can shut up. It looks like a family of octopi died on my face. <laughs> Oh, at least I'm happy. Is that my big smiley mouth? I'm not bald, honey. Are you going to give me some hair? <laughs> oh, okay. I can wear a hat. Looks like I'm wearing pants on my head. <laughs> Why do you put pants on my head? Mm, look at me. You remind me of the... Uh... Sea captain from Simpsons. <laughs> you want me to wake up and just go, Arr. I be wearing pants on me head, Arr. I look like a sailor. <laughs> oh no, Togepi's angry. <laughs> Which is being funny. I can see what you're saying now, Froyo. I'm crab fishing. I'm fishing for crabs. Sam, is that? Is he got a knife? Why is he trying to kill me? Look at me. I'm all fuzzy and lovable. Why would Togepi want to kill me? Because he's a bully. That's why. Next season on Deadliest Catch. <laughs> you just see me, see, see me at the beach trying to catch a crab with some string. Oh, he's a big one. I'm trying to catch your own beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hooked a live one. <laughs> oh, he's a big boy, this one. You really inspired me to draw again. Oh, good! You're not drawing retired. So you, people will take that seriously. <laughs> Don't say stuff like that. This is the internet. People like routine. If you say you're going to do something, they'll be like, what? Change? No! No! I'm in a bit of a crochet era. <laughs> well, that's fine, but you're sharing that, though. <laughs> Medical process, I'm sorry, but I just lost it in the video when you were drawing a bag and Steph asked if it was me. <laughs> what, is that you? It's a bag, hun. <laughs> it's be you know why she thought it was me? It's because I drawn the bag as a square. <laughs> and she always draws my face as a square. Honey, that's not the most attractive picture you've ever done of me. What am I meant to do? <laughs> what am I meant to do? I'm drawing from life. <laughs> she always unintentionally roasts the heck out of me. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. You know, honey, that that could that could make a lesser man cry. I am. I'm a big, strong boy. People love scrungily. What's a, what the heck is scrungily? Scrungly beard. Scrungle features. 
Your beard is out of control. What the? It's the little oddish telling me off. <laughs> I'm like, huh? What do you mean? Sad Tropius. Oh, but Tropius lives off like having a banana beard. Like that's that's its thing. Tropius is like the banana beard Pokemon where everyone's like, wow. Yeah, I like my drawing. Do I like it? Mm -hmm. uh, it's alright. Why is my beard like tendrilling up my nose? It looks like it's nose hair that's grown around my face. Oh my god, bro. Bar. Maybe giving it a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you think I'm gonna pirate, I'll just like I'll just adopt this folly. I won't say I'm hoovering anymore, I'll say I'm sw swabbing the poop deck. I'm gonna say rat men. <laughs> I'm gonna <lie. laughs> I'm I'm swabbing the the poop. I'm swabbing the diapy deck. <laughs> no, there'd be too much poop in that diapy. Shiver me tempers. Shiver me diapies. There's a lot of poop in there, honey. The drugs on Steph because I said if I ever need diapies, she's gonna change me. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay on my back. <laughs> oh God. Lay on my back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, where's my where's my wisdom hair, hun? You haven't put any wisdom hairs in there. Two weeks later. Oh god, it's like eating me. Oh, that's scary. I look, at, I look like a tree. Oh, it looks like I'm reaching out, like, wistfully looking out for, like, older days. Like, oh. It's more like octopus-like tendrils. The images. <laughs> oh, that's well cute. I like the little guinea pig frog. You know, like the Pokemon. You know, like the the one that clear is. Does that mean? Does it have a beak? Is that what that is? Because I used to think that was its nose, but does it grow up to have a beak? I'm a Tintin character. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you are, laddie. You best start believing they're in Tintin, cause you're in one. Ludicolo is a duck pineapple thing. Is it a bee? Is that what it is, Cleo? I'm glad you're still here. Your girl disappeared? Did you, like, turn your layer off? What the hell is that, hun? you in two weeks time you don't shave well get used to it <laughs> i'll stop putting it in the thumbnail <laughs> hairy man draws things i 
Am I turning into Bigfoot? <laughs> I don't see any more watch. I can try and have a look on the layers here, see if I can... Where is yours? Oh, it does say that the layer is still there, so you, you haven't, like, deleted your layer. That's, that's, that, that is legit scary. I don't like that. Honey. Let's shave. You've drawn something that's frightened me. Can you, can you shave me? <laughs> if I just give you like a pair of scissors. No, I want you to get the prompt shave off. No, I want you to cut it with scissors. I'd have to cut it with scissors first, otherwise I'd break the shaver. What's happened to your shave off? Um, I lost the uh, plug for it. So you just never got a no one? Yes. <laughs> Basically, yes. Get the cutlass. <laughs> All the stuff you've done is so cute, guys. Every week you do such cute things. Oh, look at the Meryl baby! Oh, the baby! Yeah, that's adorable! I love his little face. <gasps> Moose! Oh my god, all the drift loons are really cute as well. Oh my god, would you share a juice box or drift loon, guys? I would share my juice. Would you would you kiss Cleombre on the beak? Now we know that it's a beak. Would you kiss the it's a shiny beak too? She's been buffing it for you. <laughs> Polishing that beak for a smooch. It's just like <laughs> you'd give big sveal kisses. Oh my god, yeah! If Cleombre kissed Ejek, would Cleombre get poisoned? Ejek's like poison ivy. Oh, number four. Oh my god, that's looking really clean, uh, Pony. That's awesome. I love the leaves. Oh, it's really clean. Cute. You call Pika learning patches. Isn't he adorable? Wait, see, he's got a beard, but you don't have a problem with his beard, do you? Who <laughs> kissed in the Pokemon randomizer? Kissing in the game. Is that what you guys are doing in that box? All the Pokemon are making out in the box. Oh god. I like that. He looks he kinda reminds me of like something along the lines of like a Sanrio character. Sanrio. He's called Petchy and he has like a giant pencil. And he solves all his problems with his giant pencil. No, he solves all his problems with macaroni art. With macaroni art, baby. Please rename the box to Gay. Will Pokemon let me name something Gay Baby Jail? I mean, we went to the name racer, didn't we? And they let us change Dinosaur's name to Dinosi. That was Dinosaur's suggestion, by the way. So Dinosaur's now called Dinosi, and then we decided we're never going to go to the name racer ever again. <laughs> We're not going there anymore. Your name is literally Dick. That's a good point, bro. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. Oh my god, pass the pass the Denussi cloth. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I love that you've given him baby pink ears. What color are Patchy's ears? Like IRL. I always struggle with the color uh, yeah, of them. Yeah, it's difficult because they are sort of like a pink skin tone, but then he also has fur on He's, top. He has very top. fuzzy ears. So it's orangey, browny, pinky color. Oh, he's come over a lot. He's like, oh, my boy, you're super nice. No, you're Patchy. Look, he's right there. Ooh. Patchy's recently has been getting really receptive to his name, like even more so, like... When we're like secretly talking about him, you know? Yeah, like if we're just... Talking about him in passing, he'll come running over. He's like, oh, yeah. like yes, 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 that's me. Please take a picture of the other Pokemon next stream. Oh, the one where we did like that group photo in like the photo booth thing? That's dangerous. I could spend so much time in that thing. I, I loved that photo thing we did towards the end. It's so good. We love it too. We want it more. But we can hang. We can do some more at the photo booth thing. Because that there's that guy there that sells like props and stuff. So we could like spend some money on some props and uh, do some more photo shoots. You need to see that. I'll throw it. It was really fun, yeah. I think where we left it off, because I don't play it like when we're not streaming it. So I saved it with us in there, so we can pick it up again. Because I've been having a lot of fun with it. I kind of want to do the whole thing. Because we've like started it now. I kind of want to like run the whole thing with you. When is the next one? I don't know. I should do some, like, extra ones or something, shouldn't I? And then, if, if we do extra ones, then that can just be the Pokemon stuff. But right, my chickadees. I'm going to have to run for now. So thank you for hanging out with me on the community canvas. I really appreciate it. If we do some extra Pokemon streams then, I will make sure to tag you in the Discord about it, yeah? Because uh, I, I think that'll be the best way. If we do extra stuff, we can just play Pokemon together some more. So keep your eyes peeled there, and obviously we'll be uploading on Sunday with a new video. So enjoy the rest of your week, have fun, and, and, and go Power Guy. <laughs> I will see you very soon. Bye!